My name is Morton Lordson. I'm a distinguished professor of composition at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. I've been associated with this university both as a student and a faculty for now 52 years. And I'm happy to talk with you today. Not only does one, as a student, have to work exceptionally hard, especially in this area, music demands it. You cannot, in this great art, you cannot settle for second best ever in any way. You have to simply compose and, and hone and hone until the piece is exactly right as much as you can, etc. But there are other elements as well. For a young budding musician, especially composer, you also have to be proactive. You cannot, for example, when I, I a couple of small examples, when I uh, composed Omani Mysterium in my role as composer in residence with the Los Angeles Master Chorale, having a very successful premiere in 1994, and having a fine distributor, uh, having a great publisher in pure music, distributed by, uh, now it's Hal Leonard doing the distribution and so on, but there hadn't been a recording. Now, how do I get this piece out there? I simply, one of the things I did was on my own nickel, take a stack of uh, scores and flew up to the Chorus America convention in Seattle. Chorus America is the Association of Professional Conductors and, and uh, Administrators of Choruses. And I thought, these people should have this, be aware of this piece of music. I simply went around to the thing. I said, hello, I'm a composer. My name is Morton Lords, and I, I want to give you this. Thank you, buddy. Hi, I'm a composer. I think you'd like to have this. I simply did that and then flew home. And it wasn't too long after that that the letters and the phone calls started to happen. Dear Mr. Lordson, you may not remember, but you gave me a piece of music. I like this piece of music very much, and we are going to perform it. Thank you very much. Or persisting with uh, Roger Wagner in that what's now become infamous situation with the Los Angeles Master Chorale. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to, you know... Campbell had it right. You have to follow your own bliss and you have to believe in yourself, especially in artistic endeavors. You are going to run into people, no matter what kind of artistic endeavors, that are going to be, uh, shall we say, difficult, problematical. Um, you have to have a tough skin. Not everyone's going to be appreciative of what you do. You just you, you stay the course and you develop a hard skin and you don't worry about this stuff and you don't worry about fads. You want to do what is inside of you. Your own special gift. And, and not be swayed by fads, not be swayed by people who uh, may not think kindly of your, your work. Write on, uh, compose honest music, what you deeply feel. And uh, stay the course. On that. But you have to also take advantage of situations and be, as I say before, proactive. When I heard that the, master, the Los Angeles Master Kral uh, had scheduled the, my midwinter songs with chorus and orchestra to be done at the music center years ago and then had canceled it and any other new music that season because Roger Wagner had been let known it was his last season. I simply went out to Roger Wagner's house and convinced him to do the piece. I went out there against all advice. Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go out to see this guy. What have I got to lose? So I drove out to his house and played it through for him. I said, those are my midwinter songs. I hope that uh, no matter what the situation is with the L.A. Master Crowd, he will reconsider and do the piece because he didn't want to do any new music. That season, he had been told he was going to be let go. And so he was going to do Danny Boy and all of his old favorites. He wasn't going to learn anything new. So I, I didn't, that didn't settle well with me. So I played it through for him. And he did do it. And his successor did it. And the next thing you know, years later, they asked me to be their composer in residence. Each one of these things is a stepping stone. 
and you have to be very proactive. You have to believe in yourself and follow the course and don't be swayed, least of all by fashion, least of all by what's going on politically. You have to understand that when I was going through as a student, the, the raging war at that time was between serialism and atollism. I thought that was such a silly, ugly little thing. Write the music. Write the music, make it good. Don't worry about this kind of stuff. And of course, that whole controversy is in the dustbin of history.